Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this very advanced DMT99 multimeter. And the awesome thing is it's not a no name, it's from FNI RSI, a very well known brand. It's a very innovative company. I've bought already a lot of their devices and they have never been disappointing. They usually have a lot of functions, are easy to use and usually are also budget friendly like this device here as well. It's a digital multimeter. It has also automatic detection function. This is exactly what we want to see these days. So I'm going to show you what's in the box and then show you a couple of tests and then I'll let you know what I think about this device. So this is what we get here comes with a decent instructions manual and then here the device nicely protected inside watch how much cushion we have here so really nice protection but it doesn't come with a storage or carry bag but the good thing is this device is very robust buttons are really easy to use not too easy to press. They have quite some resistance, but not too much resistance, exactly what we want. Comes also with a charging cable, very modern one, USB-A to USB-C. That's also what we want to see these days. So we can easily charge it almost everywhere, even from a power bank. By the way, the runtime is a whopping 10 hours. So this could also work for professional use if you're working the whole day. And so we get these two nice probes here. They come with decent protection here at the tips and also for the connectors. You have to remove, of course, this one too. And so here's the simple on off button. We have two languages. So I'm choosing, of course, the English. Regarding charge, important to know that you charge it before you use it. You can see when I plug it in and turn on the power, I get a warning that I can't use it while charging. And it doesn't have only a sturdy build, it has also a very functional build. So on the back we have these holders for the probes. You can easily squeeze them here inside, very convenient. Also because of these holders it has almost like a stand here, but we do not only have this flat stand, we also have this very convenient higher stand super convenient and we also have this hole here to hang it to a wall for most of the functions we are using black down here and the red up here but if you want to measure low current then you have to move the red one down on the left side and if you want to measure high current then you have to move the red one up here that's the only difference but usually the red one will be here and so you can easily measure most of the things for example the voltage of this battery let's see it's in the automatic mode and it shows now 1.54 volts something like that so it has detected that i want to measure the voltage because everything else doesn't make really sense here absolutely awesome you can also measure for example the resistance which we have in our body so let's see yeah it has definitely switched to ohm and shows the numbers and as far as i've been able to see till now the numbers are really accurate i've been comparing them to another voltmeter which i trust since couple of years and there was pretty much no difference to see i can also show you some live numbers here connecting the plus and here the minus so we can see we have 30 volts here and it shows 30.07. I've compared this also with my other device, showed exactly the same thing. And so when we change the voltage here a little bit, I go down to 20. You can see adjust to 20, play around here a little bit. Maybe let's go down to 10. Yeah, it shows now 10 exactly. But of course we can do much more. For example, we can test a magnetic field. For example, magnetic field which is caused by the AC voltage on this device. So I hold the sensor here, you can see, or we can even test for the live wire. But regarding everything which has high voltage, be very careful. Only work with high voltage when you are a pro and know what you are doing. I have the 110 volts plug here, so let's test for the live wire. Yeah, definitely not here, not in the center but it's here on the right side. And when we go back to the automatic mode, we can of course also test the voltage here. 
Let's do that here on this side. Let's check here. Shows 121 volts. So we have a lot of automatic functions, but we have also some manual functions. We can switch the current, also switching between the different units here. Can even have a hold, testing even some frequencies or the temperature. And of course, there are much more settings here in the menu. When we press for two seconds here in the middle, we can see all the different settings which we have. And here on top, especially different modes. So we have the regular function, we have the monitoring function, and we have the recording function. And so you can see in the recording function what happens when I plug this in. Now the voltage is low, I plug it in. And now you can see the change went up from zero volts to 12 volts. Of course, now with this huge range, we cannot see small changes, but as soon as the large change is disappearing, we can also see small differences. So I increase the voltage just a little bit here. So I hope you can see that now. Absolutely awesome. What we can see, monitor, Record, by the way, the monitoring function, you can see some thresholds. Then you can get an alert if it reaches the threshold. Yeah, pretty cool, I would say. That's exactly what I need. Pretty easy to use. Also good display, good charge, good build, everything. So for me, an absolute awesome device. I would say pretty easy to use. So works also for beginners, but could also work for the pro because it has so many extra functions. So if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.